join kids hat family tia i'm bored can you tell me a good story sure tofu i'll tell you a story the porridge witch once upon a time in a small town there lived two sisters named janet and beth out of the two beth was extremely forgetful the sisters were very poor and they often went on days without having proper meals they slept on empty stomachs almost every other day i feel so hungry my stomach is growling i haven't eaten for days oh beth I wish I could do anything to take away our state of poverty. Maybe if I go out for a small stroll, I will forget how hungry I am. So Beth went into the woods with a bottle of water. After a while, she stopped to drink some water as she was thirsty. Ah, oh, I feel so tired and thirsty. Suddenly, A peculiar old woman appeared. Oh dear. Can I have a sip of water please? I am sick and thirsty and have not had water for 2 days. Although Beth was frightened at the sight of the old woman, she gave her her bottle of water. Ah, uh, of course. Please have as much as you like. Thank you so much my child. You are so kind. Let me repay you for your kindness. And in a flash of bright sparkle, the old woman turned into a beautiful young witch. Beth was amazed and taken aback at the sight. Wow! Ask and you shall be granted, my dear child. And so Beth told her about their poverty. and how she and her sister slept on empty growling stomachs hmm i see here take this pot but how will a pot cure our poverty my dear this is not an ordinary pot it's a magic pot you must say cook little pot cook and it will cook as much sweet delicious porridge as you and your sister would like you won't ever go hungry this way and when you are satisfied just say stop little pot stop and it will stop cooking oh this is magical i must go home and show this pot to my sister she would be amazed wait I must tell you one last thing. In order to keep this magic pot with you forever, you must earn it. You must do something to deserve it, or it will vanish from your lives and you shall remain hungry forever. Keep my words in your mind, or you shall suffer great loss. I will remember what you just told me. I must go home now. And so Beth went home with the magic pot excited. She showed Janet the pot and told her everything, but forgot to inform her about the magic spell to seize the pot from cooking. The sisters sat down and ate all the sweet porridge until their stomachs were full and satisfied. Oh Beth, the porridge is so so delicious. Yes, isn't it? I am going out for a stroll now. But oh, I forgot to tell you something. Ah, uh, I can't remember what it was. Anyways, I will be back in a while. And so Beth went out for a stroll, completely forgetting to tell Janet the spell to seize the pot from cooking. After a while, Beth came home. and saw Janet sitting on the dining table. Their small cottage was full of sweet sticky porridge. Oh no, I forgot to tell you the spell to stop the pot from cooking. Ah, uh, stop little pot, stop. 
the magic pot stopped cooking at once but janet and beth were in awe at the sight they had to clean it all oh dear sister what do we do with all this porridge we cannot throw away food i have an idea janet let's feed the poor families in our town that would be great and so the two sisters gathered all the poor families and fed them with sweet hot porridge oh dear the porridge is so delicious i finally feel satisfied after not eating for days you girls are so humble and kind may god bless you both the girls felt happy and content after feeding all the poor families this way they cleaned their house as well after a while a skinny old man in ragged clothes limped towards them my child can i have the magic pot my grandchildren are so sick i have a family of 7 to feed we haven't eaten in days our stomachs have turned into empty pits please let me have this magic pot janet turned to beth and asked what they shall do finally they agreed on giving the old man the magic pot sir you can keep this pot you and your family need it more than we do we are satisfied on our parts that is so kind of you dear girls thank you so much there was a flash of sparkles and the old man turned into the porridge witch oh that's you it's so good to see you again hello beth you remember i told you you must do something to deserve the magic pot guess what you just earned it here keep this with you forever and you shall never sleep hungry again thank you thank you so much wow what a magical story tia i hope you enjoyed it tofu for your favorite rhymes stories and more join kids hat family subscribe here